Hello fellow crafters, I'm Karen, and this is the second part of our men's 1920s costume accessory series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a fake cigar to complement the cane from part one. The materials that you'll need to make the cigar are up on the screen, and these revolve around trees, ink, and glue. So we're going to need our dowel and some brown paper. I'm going to be using wrapping paper, but you could use really any brown paper. And then we'll need some materials to make the label, as well as glue everything together. Given that I don't smoke cigars, I had to do a decent amount of research to figure out what the standards are for cigars, and it turns out that there are a bunch of different styles, and within those styles there are dimensions that apply to it. And there's some variation, but there are still some general standards. So the cigar that I decided to make is going to be what is called a Toro, and this one is six inches in length, and it's made from a three-quarter inch dowel, so cigar's diameter is measured in sixty-fourths of an inch. So if you were to see the dimensions for this, it would technically be six by, with an X, um, forty-eight, since three-quarters of an inch is forty-eight sixty-fourths. Technically, this is a little bit off from the size of a true Toro, but it was the closest that I could get to where I liked the length. So, we'll jump right in here with step one, which is to cut the dowel to length. So I did the woodworking in advance of recording this, and I started with a three-quarter inch diameter dowel, and I cut it to the six inch length that I had chosen for my cigar type. And I did do some sanding to smooth off the edges. The more square end is just very slightly sanded around the corner to make it smooth. And the end that you would stick in your mouth is more rounded. Technically the Toro style I think is supposed to be even more rounded than this is, but I was sanding by hand and it was really time consuming. So it is going to be exactly this much sanded. So with the woodworking done, we'll move on to the next stage, which is putting the paper on. Real cigars are typically wrapped in leaves, but for my imitation we're going to be using brown wrapping paper because it's going to have a similar end effect. To start, we're going to need to cover the ends of this, and then after that we can cover the main body of the cigar. For the main body of the cigar, we're going to cut a long strip of paper that can be wrapped in a spiral manner around the dowel. So I'm going to cut that first, and I'm going to do mine at about 2 inches wide. My plan for finishing off the ends of the dowels is to cut out a circle and then cut little tabs in it so that the tabs can fold down around the edges and be glued in place. That way I cover the corners and the end gets covered neatly without the, the risk of it falling off as easily. So since this is a 3 quarter inch diameter, I probably want to go about another 3 eighths of an inch to make my tabs. So. That leaves us with an inch and a half diameter circle. So I'm going to cut out two of those, cut little notches so that I can fold tabs in, and then attach them to the ends with Mod Podge. After those are in place, I can use more of the Mod Podge to spiral on my remaining paper. So I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. Um, just comparing it now, I got an advertisement in the mail for cigars, which I fully believe is because I've been talking about making a fake cigar too much recently. So it looks like it's got the right kind of spiral pattern. It matches some of the lighter colored ones. It's, it's definitely on the lighter side for what seems to be standard in cigars, and I think there are color standards there. Um, 
but it's definitely the right idea. And the edges are nice and curved around. I'm not sure you can tell at all that I did more sanding on one side. I think it's this side, but I'm not even 100% sure. So unless you're going to do a lot of rounding, don't spend a ton of time on it. You could imitate a brand that already exists, or if you're running a crafting show on the internet, you can put in a shameless plug for your crafting show. So this is going to be a Tickled Fancy crafting brand, and whatever you do, just make sure that you have an idea of how far it is around the circumference of your um, cigar. So I'm going to get, you know, a rough measurement here. I'll leave a little bit of room for overlap. And then just decide how far or how wide you want it to be, if you want it to be just a true rectangular band or if you want it to have a circle in it or another shape. And whatever it is, just design it on here. I'm actually going to do mine with sort of markers and pens. Um, you could probably paint it. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just doing it on regular computer paper so that I can Mod Podge it on in the end. With my logo designed, it's now time to Mod Podge it on just like we put on the paper before. You definitely will want to be careful that you don't have any of the colors bleed. Mine were all fine except for that blue stripe and it did bleed a little bit the first time I pulled it down into the white so that was unfortunate. So I just went around it and then went um, sort of across it so that any blue that faded would fade into additional blue. So that seemed to work and then I just added an extra coat on the front for good measure. With the cigar completed we can now move on to making the pocket watch. Thanks for supporting Tickled Fancy Crafting by watching this video. This content is available on YouTube and Rumble so click the like or rumble button to let me know that you enjoyed the content and subscribe to see new Tickled Fancy crafting videos in your feed. If you'd like to be informed directly about the content, ring the notification bell on YouTube or adjust your notification settings on Rumble. Comment with crafts that you would like to see in the future, and remember, you can make this.